Hey there friends, I'm going to show you how to make a sweet counting ring using Tinkercad and the amazing tube tool. You need to slide down and find the tube and what makes it amazing is that it has these parameters. I have found that for a size 10 finger, which I found by printing out a ring sizer, I need to do 11 for the radius and 1.05 for the wall thickness. That is the ring shape I need and then when I want to make it a ring, I'm going to change it to 64 steps and I'm going to set the bevel to 1 and I'm going to set the bevel segments to 4. And what that does is gives me a smooth ring and instead of 10 millimeters, I'm going to make it 8 millimeters thick. So that quickly, I made a pretty nifty ring. I'm going to adjust it just a little bit though. I'm going to make it 12 millimeters for the radius. And what that does is allows me, since I added a whole millimeter up here, I get to add half a millimeter down here. So I'm going to do 1.55 so that the walls are thicker. Now I tested this whole theory by making a tiny one, printing it, and when it made me happy, then I knew I was good with the rest. You can see here if I align these center center and do a quick top view they line up just dandy I'm gonna fit view over selection it looks like my math might be off just a tiny bit so I'm gonna try my walls and I'm gonna just make them 1.75 the neat thing is when you've got your measurements figured out um, then you can just uh, tweak them until they match the little one that you already tested on your finger. There we go, it was 2.1, so by me cutting that in half, I messed up. I needed to do it on both sides. All right, so I'm going to move the little template away, and then let me show you how you make a counting ring. I want to have 10 sides on my count, so I just make it a 10-sided shape for a second. Press W for the work plane and then switch to the all shapes. And you need to find the one called script. I have searched for it a few times already today and it's either on three or four. It was on the fourth tab and then I made it a favorite. So right now I'm gonna just bring this one out here and then I'm gonna real quickly show you that from now on, if I go to my favorites, there it is. So that's a smarter way to be able to find it. So I told you I wanted to count, and I'm going to start counting it one. And instead of the script font, I like the stencil font, or I also like the one called Major Snafu. Now remember, I went eight millimeters, so I'm just going to hold down shift, and I'm going to shrink this till it's in the five millimeter range. I'm going to use the arrow keys to nudge it one millimeter at a time till it's on my shape the way I want. And then I'm going to cut it into my shape one millimeter deep. I'm going to change it to a hole. And then I'm going to push it in. But then I'm going to puff it back out to two millimeters. And I'll keep it that way for the next ones so that it lines up. So there will be a one cut into this when I group it, which I'm going to do in a minute. But let me show you an amazing skill first. Click on the piece that you like and do control C to copy. Click W to change your work plane to the next face. Click that work plane again so that you get this grid that shows it's connected. And when you can do control V and pull the cone out, your next number will be lined up and you can use the arrow keys to nudge it into place. The height will be the same. I just poked it out one millimeter and I'm gonna change it to a two. I'm gonna nudge that one to the left just cause I think it'll look better. And then I'm gonna press W again and I'm gonna click one more time. You've gotta have that rectangle or it doesn't work. If I do control V, it pastes my number back. I can use the arrow keys to nudge it into place. I need to go one back in or is it one in? Nope, I gotta push it in one millimeter and change it to a three. 
and it's that easy to do this all the way around the shape. I'm going to do it one more time for you so you can see it again. Oops, this is a common mistake. If you're typing, it goes up there. So I'm going to click the screen. I'm going to click W to switch to that face. I'm going to make sure that face has the rectangle around it. I'm going to pull my shape out. Sometimes you need to adjust so you can see the cone. Use the arrow keys to nudge it into place. I'm going to get that cone so I can click it. Remember, if you ever do it wackadoodle, uh, just press uh, Control Z to undo it. There's my four. I'm getting smarter, so I clicked. I'm pressing W. I'm clicking. And I'm going to Control V to paste to five. And then I'm going to put this next chunk to music. You can just watch it happen in fast speed. finish with an X because it's nice to have that one digit. Okay, so here's where the magic happens. Go back to your main shape, change it back to 64 sides. You have got an awesome rounded ring. I'm going to get rid of these two pieces by simply hitting hide and I'm going to grab all of my ring and group it. Just like that, you've got amazing, an amazing ring with cutout numbers and you can print it and test it in no time. Plus, you learned a real cool skill about the work plane and using copy and paste. Thank you, friends, for taking time to watch. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. If you liked this movie, please click that like button. If you get a chance, make sure you subscribe. And if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new movie by HL Mod Tech, click that notification bell. Have a great day, friends. Thanks for tinkering. I'm powering the Saxon.